that believe that God never does anything without purpose. What a tremendous, uh, let me put this in first. What a tremendous anointing yes, God. of God, yes. of God, Thank you, Lord. has been here all day. Yes. This afternoon yes. was covered by the glory yes. of the Lord. Yes. Yes. The building was filled to capacity this afternoon. Yes. And tonight, you come. Yes. You've driven miles to be here. Sandy said, uh, nearly two hours coming from the south. Yes. And what a covering of the Lord has been here. Especially was just lifted up by Brother Eddie and Sister Janice being home with us. Yes. I just can't explain how good I feel in my soul yes. tonight. Praise Amen. God. Amen. And I believe if I'm going to ask you that question, you would tell me honestly, yes, yes. I feel the yes. glory of the yes. Lord yes. in my soul and in my spirit. Yes. Sandy, you just couldn't express. That's it. Hallelujah. You did your best. Amen. You gave your whole body to it, mind, spirit. But you couldn't express. But the Lord was blessing you. Oh, God. The better you did everything possible. Yes. But you just couldn't express. On the roads you preached with all fervor and fire. Yes, But you just couldn't express. I can't express. Joy of the Lord in the songs tonight. That's right. That's right. Many churches have already shut their doors in Manatee County. This is one of the few churches. Go through the city and see if I'm not right sometime. But we're still here. Later in the evening. And why are we here? <coughs> because of grace. Fills our temple. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you praised him already. Thank and you praised him again. <coughs> and you praised him again. I'm going to ask you to praise him again. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Jesus, I love you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Supernatural miracles happen. I was praying with Janice. Yes, Jesus. With Eddie's daughter here. She received the Holy Ghost. Has it in her life. A few years ago, the cruelty of people yes. hurt her so badly that until today, she felt like she had been kicked out, away from God. But I told her the living words of life today. Praise God. That no man can pluck you out of the Father's hand. Amen. 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 Am I right in that? Amen. Am I right in that? Yes. And today, supernatural things happen. I believe in the supernatural. How could I believe in God if I didn't believe in the supernatural? Amen. While she was standing here praying, I lifted my hands from her, looked back down on her face, in the face of her dear mother stood there looking me in the face, Sister Rosalie. You say, but Sister Rosalie's gone on. Well, where's she gone on to? She's with the Lord. And he said, I am not a God of the dead, but of the living. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you believe in the supernatural tonight? Yes, Lord. I know you do. Sang that song, Grace. Darren, a receiver of grace. And someone may want to get grace tonight. Thank you, Lord. 
some of you are, that are here tonight, I'm a pastor. I'd like to encourage you. I want to encourage you. I want you to go home a different way than perhaps you came. I want you to go home tonight knowing that the last mile, the last 100 feet of whatever journey of darkness that may have come in your life, that the last mile is being overcome tonight, and that you're going to go home with the grace of God. God is going to help you turn around and go a different way to overcome that darkness. As Patty said, the grace of God lets you just stand and stand. And having done all to stand, stand therefore. It's wonderful when Jesus removes the burden you're carrying takes the load that you can't bear. And I can speak for me. I'll use myself. In my lifetime, I've had Jesus step in when I had no tomorrow. And suddenly, he placed in my hands another tomorrow, another day. He's that good tonight. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, He's that good. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. He's that good tonight. But you know, the only thing you have to do, and I've done this, you have to suddenly trust that what someone is saying to you it's not something to hype you up. Something to make you feel good for a moment. But they have the word, the word of God to give you. And they're giving that word to you. And all you have to do is accept it. Just accept it. And turn your emotions loose. And let them go. Yes. And then walk back into the household of faith. You take hold of the hand that you first felt. When? 20 years ago? When? 15 years ago? When? 30 years ago? However it was, you were changed by the power of Jesus Christ. And you were not the same. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm looking at Brother Terry Harrison. Debbie, are you here tonight? Is Debbie here? Yes, yeah, she's there. Well, of course she's there. <laughs> Absolutely. Debbie will be with me when Jesus comes after one of us or both of us. Amen. <laughs> now, you ought to be. I reared you up. Praise our God. <laughs> Amen. Listen, I look at my cousin. He's my cousin. Biologically. And he's Uncle Charlie when I see him. He's his grandfather. His grandfather was my uncle. And I look over there and say, is that Terry or Uncle Charlie? <laughs> I want to tell you something. He came in here with hair down to here. I said, Terry, where are you going? on a bright Sunday morning. And Terry said, I'm going around the world. Around the world, around the world. <laughs> That's where I'm going. I'm headed around the world. I said, you hippie you. <laughs> you're going around the world? No, you're not. You're stopping right here. <laughs> Seventh Avenue is the end of you're going around the world. Praise the name of the Lord. Did I tell you the truth? By that night, Terry Harrison was at the altar praying through. And he found a 
new life. A new beginning. Do you believe it tonight? Do you believe it tonight? I want to hear you breathe real deep out there and then shout glory. Glory! God, Eddie, I feel that power of God. You got it on me today. Yeah. The Holy Ghost struck Eddie up here, got a hold of me. Got a hold of me. I don't know who else tried to money and head. Lee and Jesus. Jesus wants you to get back in his house. He wants you to believe your pastor. He wants you to believe the word of God. And everyone in this church. He wants you to lift your head and say, I am more than a conqueror. Through Jesus Christ, right here. Amen. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Brother Michael Van Hiding, come on here and stand by me a minute. Amen. Get that rock over here. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. You think you could put up a pretty good fight with this fellow standing right by you? Amen. I'm less afraid when you're right there. I'll go through darkness if you're by my side. Amen. Because I feel these tall oak timbers over here. That's oak, isn't it? That's oak. Praise our God. Amen. Amen. Oh, Mike, I love you. Thanks for letting me just use you to bolster the word of God. Amen. But I'll tell you this about this man while he stands here. He's not afraid of the devil. He's not afraid of the enemy. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Thank you. 